Hey guys, Brennan Noble here, and in this video, I'm going to go over Share to See with you, which is a content locking plugin for WordPress. Now, currently, we have Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter as unlock options, and we will be adding more in the future. But let me show you real quick how it works. Basically, um, the whole mindset behind Share to See is to give users a taste of the content they are unlocking because it really compels them to actually unlock that content and share it with their friends versus uh, traditional content locking which basically completely obscures or hides the uh, content completely okay so um, with images for instance as you can see I've got this image here which is hidden with share to see and it's using a black diamond style overlay and you can change these styles but you can see that you can actually see through the image to the uh, you know through the overlay to the content okay you can't really make out completely what it is and um, basically that's very compelling but when you hover over it obscures it even further but you can still see it there's still that hint of it beckoning calling to the person that's looking at the page saying unlock me okay so they're gonna wanna share this with their friends to see that content um, for instance if you had you know three Im uh, set of three or four images of a celebrity falling down let's say you have four you know you've got three process of falling four is the money shot with the celebrity's face smashing into the ground you're gonna lock that picture okay and people are gonna go bonkers over it they're gonna kinda be able to see what's going on they're gonna kinda have an idea that that's the best picture out of the whole set and they're gonna wanna unlock that okay now we basically took the same mindset with the text by blurring it out and this is something that's pretty new um, I actually had never seen a plugin that did this until I released pin to see which was a Pinterest locker um, it there may have been some other people doing it but I hadn't seen it before I know now there's a uh, another plugin available that does just this and people were paying like fourteen dollars a pop for just being able to blur out the text and mine goes further than that you can blur the text you can also have text pop out through it um, so that you can see the text um, if you want to reveal some of it to make it even more enticing okay and my plugins cheaper it does all this it does images it does video it does container locking um, so keep that in mind as you're looking over this but um, basically we want to show the user there's content here there's content here that you want to see and by actually popping out pieces of it you can reveal it to them and they have a really good idea of what they're unlocking um, they're not flying blind they're not blindly sharing some random page with their friends so it makes them feel a lot better and it really you know makes them eager to see what's behind the curtain so to speak now I did include container locking in here this is kind of a legacy style uh, content locking uh, compared to the blur but uh, it is still viable and some people still want to use it and there are some circumstances where you would want to use that um, and you can actually use this to lock several elements like you can lock images and stuff inside of that and it will completely encase it into that container until you unlock and it will all expand um, and then videos use the same concept of course as images but with videos we want to basically show the user something that they're conditioned to already um, using which you know in this case a YouTube video they're conditioned to when they see that video go press play okay but as soon as they go to do that it says hey this video is locked simply share the page with your friends to unlock it and uh, again even when they're hovered over they can still kind of make out uh, the video behind there again always keeping that subconscious element in your mind there's content behind here I want to see it I'm gonna unlock, unlock this okay so let me just show you how it works when you unlock something on the page it's gonna unlock all the content on this page and there you go all of its visible you can now see the image completely clear the blurred text is no longer blurred there was even a link in there which was blurred out okay and the uh, container basically had the same text as this but it is now visible as well and the video now we can watch okay so um, this is pretty powerful stuff let me go ahead and jump over into the back end and I'll show you how this works I have made an exact copy of this post with no locking done yet so you can um, basically see how fast and easy it is basically okay all you want to do in order to lock something is you click it 
and then click the corresponding button on here. This is image locking, this is video locking, this is uh, blur text obviously, and this is the container text. And then we've got the styles here, which I'll show you in a moment. But basically, uh, in order to lock an image, all we got to do is click the image, click lock. Now it grays out so you can see that it's locked, and we're basically done there. Um, when you go to publish the post, you do want to make sure that you enable share to see uh, for this post, okay? And then these are default uh, messages, basically, um, and you can set these in the settings so that they show up the same in every new post. That way you don't have to go through and type this out every time. But uh, we'll go ahead and just publish the post, and I will show it to you. Okay, so this is our page, um, and you can see that the, the image that we just locked inside the editor is now locked. Works perfectly. Now the video, you know, is unlocked. So let's go ahead and lock that. Scroll down here. Select the video block. Okay, and uh, lock video. It grays out. Update. We'll go ahead and refresh this. And now you can see the video is locked as well. Okay, so it's pretty much the same across the board. Um, and I'll show you how to do the text real quick. We want to blur this text. We blur it. We we'll want to container lock. Whoops, went too far here. We want to container lock this text. We'll container lock that. And then if you want to show through some some of the text in black the way that uh, the example is shown, basically you'll just select this text here. Okay. And then uh, you'll want to have your kitchen sink enabled. Okay. So this is the kitchen sink button right here. Uh, if you don't have any other plugins, it's usually the furthest one on the right, but this is it right here. Click that. That'll enable all these extra buttons here. And this one is the image, uh, I'm sorry, the text color. Okay, so you just select this text that you want to be uh, showing through. Drop it down, make it black or whatever color you want it to be. press that again and then um, heck let's just make this a different color so you can see what basically how this is working okay and then we'll update and uh, refresh this page and there you go as you can see I've got blurred text everything that I selected and then colored in the WordPress editor is showing through okay and keep in mind you can only select the text that you allowed to reveal so you can't just select this and and copy and paste it or whatever it's not gonna work okay that's a good thing you don't want your viewers to be able to see this unless they unlock it so the only text that they can select is the you know the basically the text that you called out here to show them okay and we'll just go ahead and do a like on this so you can see it works and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now there is one thing on videos that I want to show you and uh, it's outlined in the top of the share to see box here under the important header. Um, when you're locking an externally hosted video you have to enable transparency mode uh, for the iframe okay because um, since it's cross domain you know they've got to be able to say hey allow um, something to hover over this okay uh, each one is different, you know. There's there's lots of different video hosts out there. Um, the most popular one is YouTube. Um, so basically, you'll want to grab your embed link from YouTube, not the share link, the embed link. Keep that in mind, okay? And you'll use the uh, the iframe embed link here, and then you'll want to add this to the end of it right here. Uh, it's a question mark. W mode equals transparent. And I, I've put that right here, so you'll always be able to see that. Whenever you're doing a video, make sure you add that to the end of the URL in here, and you will be good to go when you want to lock that. Okay, now I just want to show you real quick defaults. Um, tweets, for instance, when, when someone goes to tweet this, you know, it doesn't just blast out the URL. It actually brings up a, uh, a tweet box, and... Um, basically this allows you to pre-populate their their tweet with something you can make this whatever you want and you can change this individually in each post and you can also set a default in the settings same thing with the headline message um, this is what basically shows up up here on a locked image um, and we have it set as share this page with friends to unlock but uh, we can set that to anything we want 
Um, that way you can say, you know, if you want to see this image, share it with friends, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you want to say there. And then we've got a couple other features um, right here in each post that you can change. The URL, um, you can change to where basically when they like or Google Plus or tweet, it is sharing the URL of this page or post that the locked content is on. You can also set it to the main blog URL so when they unlock, they're actually liking your main page. Um, you know, instead of $3.com slash share to see demo, they would be unlocking, uh, they would be sharing $3.com. And on this one, you can do a custom URL. When you click that, the custom URL box pops up. You can uh, just type in any URL there. You can do yahoo.com. I mean, there would be no use to do that, but you could if you want. This is an example. Um, and when they like it, it would be liking yahoo.com instead. So this is kind of cool because um, you can kind of siphon likes from unrelated content to other things. Um, you don't want to get too spammy with that, but it, it does work, and you can do that. So. Um, and then uh, for the defaults here, like the default tweet or the default headline message and uh, all that, you just go to the share to see menu here. And when you do that, you've got basically you can check these. Um, if you change this here, it does not change it for every post you've already set. It only changes it for new posts. Okay, so if you type in, you know, Willy Wonka or something in here every time you make a new post the default tweet is going to be Willy Wonka um, so if it's something if there's something that you usually want people to uh, to tweet when they're sharing your page you know hey check this really cool blog out you can put that here and that way you don't have to type it in each time but you can change it on each post if you want um, same thing with the default headline message these are just defaults to pre-populate for new posts okay and um, the unlock behavior here changes basically site-wide if I unlock something on any post using share to see it unlocks everything on the whole site uh, until they clear their cookies completely but um, basically that keeps your footprint uh, from looking suspicious and you know if you've only got a few things on your site that are locked if per post is okay if you've got like every post on your site locked you want to go with a site-wide um, that way you're not getting, you know, so many forced shares, and it, it's a much better user experience. You know, you still want to give your user a good experience, um, but you still want to also kind of work together and increase traffic. So um, you can do that. Now, the per post page, if you unlock, obviously, um, something on one page when they go to another page or another post in your blog, um, if you have locked content there, it will still be locked. Okay. Um, and then if you want to change the logo, instead of using the share to see logo, which would pop up here, I'll just clear my cookies so you can see what I'm talking about. Do that again. Okay. Um, if you want to change this logo to your own logo, you can do that here. Um, in the settings, you just type in the URL here, so upload it to your server put the URL in here um, the overall dimensions of the image need to be 200 by 90 so you know basically this this size um, the image itself like if it's a circle or something can be you know this big but um, you'll want to have transparent edges all the way out 200 by 90 okay um, and that's pretty much all there is to it you can also enable or disable this this lower link here It'd be really cool if you keep it enabled if not that's cool too but you do have that option. Um, so you can just check these settings, make sure, make sure they're all to your liking, and then whenever you want to basically uh, add a new post, they're going to be right here. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, please leave a uh, message below. Otherwise, uh, I hope we can uh, work together. I hope you purchase, and I uh, hope you like my plugin. Thanks, guys.